Okay guys, let's dive right in. Today we're talking about the six pack scan. Am I talking about a six pack of abs? Hell no. Am I talking about a six pack of beer as awesome as that is? No. We're talking about the six pack instruments, also known as the flight instruments. Most people really struggle with this, the people I fly with, so I thought I'd make a video just to simplify it. So how do we keep it simple? We want to read these instruments just like we read our checklist, from top to bottom, left to right. First is the airspeed indicator. We're going to say reading zero and rigid. So airspeed indicator zero and rigid. What do we mean by that? We're in the run-up area right now, we shouldn't be moving. So it should be indicating zero and not processing at all, not wobbling around. If it's doing it on the ground, it'll do it in the air, and we must have accurate airspeed readings. Next, we have the attitude indicator. What we're checking here is it's within five degrees of pitch and roll. Again, five degrees of pitch and roll. Then we continue to move to the right which gives us our altimeter. For the altimeter, we say 75 feet of field elevation within 75 feet of field elevation. This is a great time to break out your airport diagram if you're not familiar with the airport elevations. A lot of airports are not completely level, most actually, so find the elevation that's closest to your airplane at that time and it should be indicating within 75 feet of field elevation. Now we move to the next line, which is turn coordinator, furthest left on the bottom. Wings level, ball centered. This is pretty self-explanatory and no flag. You can add that. A lot of people just say wings level, ball centered. The flag will be obvious if it's on there. Continuing on the bottom row to the right, we come to our heading indicator. This is a little more complicated, so again, break out your airport diagram. And what you want to do, you want to line up either parallel or perpendicular to any known taxiway or runway heading. If this is not an option, or if you just can't get the airplane to line up for whatever reason, that's fine. You can use your magnetic compass, but the by the book correct way to do this is using known taxiways or runway headings. Within five degrees of known taxiways, runways, or the magnetic compass is the call out you'll use. And last but certainly not least is the vertical speed indicator. Now the way this instrument works, the way we're going to do our call out is that it's rigid and that is our new zero. So we're going to see where it's indicating and that becomes our new zero. Most of the time it's indicating zero, but sometimes it'll be slightly lower or slightly higher. As long as it's within 100 feet either way, I would call that good. Okay guys, so just a real quick breakdown. This is exactly how you want to say it in the airplane. You want to hammer this out in about 30 seconds once you get fast and proficient at it. Airspeed indicator zero and rigid. Attitude indicator within 5 degrees of pitch and roll. Altimeter within 75 feet of field elevation. Turn coordinator, wings level, ball centered, no flag. Heading indicator within 5 degrees of known taxiways, runways, or the magnetic compass. And vertical speed indicator, rigid, and that is our new zero. So that's it guys. It's as simple as that. There's a few memory items there, but once you get it, it's a piece of cake. In honor of this video, I made a new t-shirt design. This will be available in long sleeve hoodie. I can put it on coffee mugs, whatever you request. But for the t-shirt version, $29.99 just for the front. But if you want the front and back, just add an additional five bucks and I'll send it right over to you. Again, guys, I hope this video helped. You have a great day.